So we have a couple of new features in the Winter 18 release of Salesforce specifically focused on opportunities. The first one is the ability to add opportunity team members in Lightning Experience. Let me show you how we do that. So here I am on a uh, fake opportunity called Lincoln Opportunity. And if I go to the related list, I will see over here if I scroll down for Opportunity Team. I can either click Add a Default Team if default teams were set up or Add Opportunity Team Members. If I go ahead and click on Add Opportunity Team Members, I'm presented with this screen where I can choose the team member role. So I can choose whatever roles we have in Salesforce. And if I choose here uh, one of my team members, I can also determine what level of access she should have. And I can go ahead and add any additional team members as needed. I can go ahead and hit save. And I just updated the opportunity team for this opportunity. With the Winter 18 release of Salesforce, we can now prompt users on opportunities to add products. Let me show you how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to, well, you need to have admin access. And once you do, you go into the setup screens. And when you're in the setup screens, you can simply do a search for opportunity settings. And when you go into opportunity settings, you will see that there is an option over here. Let me zoom in a little bit more on my screen. Prompt users to add products to opportunities. Once you go ahead and check that off and hit save, your users will be able to add opportunities. Well, they'll be prompted to add opportunities to their products in Salesforce. So if I scroll down over here on the opportunity record, I can see that products is visible in Lightning Experience, and I can go ahead and I can add products. If I didn't already choose a price book, I would be uh, prompted to select a price book. I did it for this particular opportunity already. And now I can use the search box on the very top of the screen in order to search my database for available products. Uh, down below, I can see products that are already here. So I only have a couple of products listed here. And if I search for widget, it will show me the two products that I have listed in this org for widget. I can use the checkboxes on the left-hand side in order to, I'm sorry, the plus signs on the left-hand side in order to add those products into my opportunity. You can see as I uh, select those products, the icons change to indicate as check marks. I can see that those products are listed up here up above. And now when I hit next, I am prompted to go ahead and add the quantity. So let's go ahead and put in a couple of quantities here. I can add in any additional details as needed based on the customizations that I have in Salesforce for adding in products. And once I hit save, I can see that the screen refreshes and the products, the quantity and the prices are all listed here down below on the opportunity. And now if I go into the details, I can see that the amount of this opportunity was also updated in order to calculate based on the products and the quantity of the products and the prices that I selected just a moment ago. If you're looking for more Salesforce end user training videos, either for yourself or your team, you'll want to head over to Brainy8 Academy, where I've got online, on-demand Salesforce training courses for end users. They will turn you into a Salesforce rock star. By enrolling in Brainy8 Academy courses, you will get access to a private group of students and to a Salesforce MVP as your instructor. You can even reach out with your own personal Salesforce struggles, and we will do whatever we can to help address them painlessly. Click on the link below to enroll in Brainy8 Academy today. I am super thrilled to be part of your journey in learning how to use Salesforce. Keep up the awesome work and have a magnificent day.